Nice health. I have maximum health. I don't know what you're talking about. Um, I got this sword now. It's like the meteor staff, but the sword. Oh, interesting. That heals you as well. That's odd. That that's from that you have? that's from my armor. Did you make that armor? Uh, it's, I've had it for a while. It's the perennial bars armor. Every time, every time I attack anything, I uh, get yield from it. I don't even know what if I have anything that does. Some are answering my DPS a little bit, but I don't think I have much. This does like 2600. This is not really for damage. This one's kind of hard to test the DPS up, but. 200. Oh, uh, let's see. Not that I'm aware of right now. Uh, we need. Can you grab a um, uh, golem something item? Uh, it's probably in the valuable items chest. Uh, only one, but you could bring multiple. Probably would be good. Okay. Got all the buff stuff here now. Very nice. Um, I'm gonna grab some more buffs from the alchemist. Where's this button that I can This button needs to go. There you are. This button needs to go. Okay. Yeah, we can. We can move it to our Pantera arena or something. We have a team. It'll probably enrage him still. I'm not sure how that works. I don't know if Golem has two states of rage, but also if this goes anywhere close to well, I mean, this arena is pretty good. I put all the stuff up on the top platform. Uh, did you just break the golem? Uh, sure did. Interesting. Uh, where did it go? Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. 
on top of the spikes and I broke the spikes. Yeah. Yeah. Bit of trivia. Yeah. Uh, wall that off. Okay. Um. What in the world? That way doesn't cut through the walls. Make this a little thicker. Okay. What do you mean? Uh, the pets. Okay, ready to start the fight? Uh, yep. I'm not sure if you can max out on boss. I do think it only displays two rows at a time, but you can have one of that. Uh, the command's fist is disappearing at the speed of light. Go a moment. It'd be really funny if they just didn't change him at all. Just to embrace the idea that he's not supposed to be hard. It would also equally be funny if once you get them to help health, they exploded and one shot everyone if you didn't have 9999 defense, so this is what the game soft walked you. There's a lot of projectiles in this fight that I don't usually look at. Way higher damage. I just don't want to use it because I think staying alive is probably more important. Gosh darn it, I had my adrenaline one ready and I forgot what button it was and I pressed break instead and then I got hit so I was fumbling with my keys. This is a certified goal moment. I have not used the healing potion with the entire fight. Probably drops one pixel guaranteed now. Uh, shiny stone, eye of the golem, beetle husks. I got the melee weapon, which I will not be using, but. <laughs> uh, heat ray, staff of earth. This is a stunt move. I got the shiny stone. That's the. Yeah. Did you get one? Mm hmm. Okay. Not sure if I'll use it, but. Um. Do we have a reason to find him again? Let me think. How much? It does indeed contain the batteries. I don't have any more. Um. No, we wouldn't, because even if I want a beetle armor, I would already have enough. Um, I'm gonna put the lizard altar in our base because it looks cool. Yeah. 
Um, Pixaw is useful for something. Oh, it is. We can mine Scorio or yeah. now. I do need to get Scorio. I believe I do as well. I believe we need a lot of it actually because I believe it's used for life alloys, which are used for almost every single weapon upgrade. Um Okay. So how do I upgrade Okay, we need the We need these Minotaur the Moonstone and the Shiny Stone. And then, do you need something else? Do you need like Nestle Shell or something for it? Yeah. I think. It's shiny stone. Let's see. I'll put this spot, I guess. For it? Uh, it takes a sunstone and a moonstone. Or, it takes a celestial stone and a moonshell. So it's a moonshell, a moonstone, and a sunstone. We didn't get a sunstone, did we? We got a shiny stone. Uh, shiny stone is something else. It's not used to craft the celestial shell. Interesting. How does Enrage Golem work? Um, I don't think it's that bad. Because you also have so much space to work with. Can give it a try? I think I remember. Yeah, we can. Just gotta put all this stuff away. Um... I guess I'll put. I guess I'll keep the Pixel and the Shoot My Digging Club both in my inventory and just run double. I already have five weapons in my inventory. I can do five weapons and two. Um, I should get the Destroyer Emblem. However, oh wait, these combination potions last forever. Menacing? Yeah, I'll take menacing, I guess. Shiny Stone is tempting for a tank build, but I move around so much. In fact, Shiny Stone may not even be that bad for you. That's what I was thinking. Maybe I'll keep it in my accessories just to get low on health. I can use it to heal. Yeah, you could start swapping accessories. Can you combine it with anything? You can in Calamity. You can make the camper. What the heck is this? That is a weird accessory. What? 10 defense. You deal 90% less damage unless stationary. Standing still grants buffs depending on what weapon you're holding. A damaging aura around you. And while you're moving, you regenerate health as if you're standing still. And it takes a shiny stone, ten campfires, five heart lanterns, and one of every class buff station. Uh, <laughs> you wanna make it? I mean, you could. So it's just embrace standing still? It's like a, yeah, it's, it's, gives you a lot of regen. Let's see what it exactly does. Okay, so it gives you, you only deal 10% of your damage while moving, but you'll get more than doubled your life regen that you'd normally have while moving. 
you get a damage aura that deals around 200 DPF and DPS and inflicts on fire. And while standing steel, you'll do your full damage again. All damage will be increased by 15%. Um, then it does 20 to 40 typeless damage to nearby enemies and inflicts them with on fire. And every second that you're standing still, it reapplies the buff station for the class, depending on which weapon you're using. Oh, well, the buff station for the class is new. Good. Because you can already get those. Anyway, yeah, we can fight Golem, and that's, that's uh, definitely an accessory. Um, it's nice. He's just faster, I think. Just kind of like he's the same boss, but you can kind of see a little jerky. I don't know which one of my buffs are still active and which aren't. I don't think I just died near the bar now. I guess I'll rebuff. There you go. Hello, sir. That's a rather tall jump you have there. Yeah, I don't. I think it's less of it's a heat and rage thing, and more of they tuned his movement to fit the fact that he's not stuck in that hole anymore. So now he like behaves like an actual boss outside of the temple. Man, is a hopper. green bar with your name on it. Okay, he's moving too fast for me to hit him. That's the pencil, that's interesting. I'm also moving too fast for him to hit me, so that's interesting. Okay, so Golem is fully cheesable by just running in one direction. Because he cannot hit you with the head. So I just have the head along for the ride permanently now. interesting. I lost the boss music because I'm not near the body. I'm only near the head and apparently the... Oh, interesting. A mob starts spawning again. So, the head is not even considered a boss at all. I'm really taking this head for a ride. However, the amount of hits I'm landing on it are negligible. So it's a bit. Oh, goodness. A lot of lasers. It's a nice golem. Uh, he despawned. Yes, so.
slightly harder to sell to them I'm trying to stay and keep them a little bit closer together. The weird thing is, is he's still shooting, the body is still shooting a lot of his projectiles at me, even though I cannot see the body at all. This vampire knives are kind of good, huh? Oh, and there he goes. Yep. Maybe it's how far away he is from the <sighs> Maybe it has to be dependent on the body, I guess. Because hmm. I've taken the head all the way to the other side of the arena and nothing's happened. Maybe it's not too worth fighting him here. Take him back to the temple. Shadow dodge moment. Yeah, it's definitely probably better just to find him in the temple. Yeah. I don't really want to go back there, though. Just teleport there. Is it teleport? Or... Oh, it doesn't work, does it? Because it teleports you to the... To the altar. To the altar? Ah, so now that's broken.
the boss. We're talking. Ah, oh, nice hive mind. I guess it's corruption, so. Hive mind has been defeated, by the way. I mean, it might be decent. was like a legit one though I assume Thank you. 
Well, it's time to do some crafting, you suppose? Okay, about to run a fire gauntlet. Got warning on it on the recharge. That's what you like to see. The Liz Hard Ultra on me. Um, did you want the picks off? Picks off. Uh, no, I have one. Oh, you got one too? Yeah. I got a hive mind trophy. Dream was bought for the, the plaque trophy. Uh, I did, they've just been going inside the villager houses, so you can put it there. I already have a hive mind. Oh, let's sell the hive mind, man. My punnage hammer.
Yeah. What is this? I got the thing that makes you into a genie. Oh, that thing. Interesting. Forgot about that. I just got two of them, but they're crap, so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they're not good, but you they're kind of. The vanity item. Yeah. Except I already have a wings vanity item. Don't know if that. They kind of. I guess like maybe it works. With... Okay. Oh, goodness. Only damage. That's a yo yo. What is it? The spirit lantern. Try it out on what? Spirit flame. This. You said you never used it before. Oh, this thing. Or what it? Those. It, those seats are nearby. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. I've forgotten to. We have any teal mushrooms left? I don't know if we do. Where's the best place to find a teal mushroom? Uh, do you want to go on the hunt for two teal mushrooms? I can make something that increases our max health by 25 permanently. Sounds nice. I don't know where to get teal mushrooms from, though. It's anywhere in the underground. Oh, uh, what is it? A tsunami, a flaring bow, six creeper teeth, two shark fins, ten depth cells, ten luminil, and five tenebris. Else you need ashes of calamity for this.
Oh, this is a this is a whole lot of crafting. Actually, a good thing we got all that perennial and chronic ore. Oh, this is the exo weapons. Yeah, I assume the exo weapons are like super late game. Yeah, they're like zenith, I guess. But... The exo mechs are one of the last bosses in Calamity that I know about. Okay. So I need five for this and five for another one. Okay, five for that. Uh, this is that the done. Use the Zenith this in their crafting recipe. I wonder if anything does. Not 100% sure if they'd actually do that. Uh, five yeah. souls of light. Do you have the souls of night? Yeah, I do. Or we just I out? only have five of them, though. Uh, well, I need exactly five, so that's good. And I can just buy some, but... Thank you. Okay. I can make this. I can go in the done pile. Um, True Biome Blade I can't make yet because I need Astral Bars. This I need a lot of stuff for. Wow. I mean, this Life Alloys aren't that expensive, but still. Uh, I'm just getting new gear at the moment. I imagine you'll probably do the same once I'm done. Let's see, I need to buy some ectoplasm. Who sells ectoplasm? Is it you? Yes. So still, brimstone elemental, frost moon, and all of their associated bosses, Leviathan and Astromarius. <laughs> How in the world did you get a katana? Like I've seen one before and I don't remember where. Oh, it's purchased from a traveling merchant. That's where I've seen it before. That's rather annoying. Huh? Hello? What? Is that okay? With what? I think you left the piano up for a second while I put the foot back on. Okay. Your piano. I said okay. Fish room. Oh, this drops from Golem. Mm -hmm. 
There's one chaos thing short, huh? Uh, you could. I'm sure this would do some funny damage on a lot of test dummies. However, the weird thing about this sword is it can only be aimed left or right. I kind of like that limitation. We should get. So, uh. How do you get the post golem or. Uh, Scoria? Yeah. Got 147 bars of it right now. <laughs> you already got it, Tom? Yeah, it's in the abyss. Probably in... Oh, it's... Oh, that's the ocean, right? Yeah. But... Not really. There's a lot of shadow chests there locked with the shadow key. I don't know how deep we can go right now. I need 10 Scoria bars for a bow. Them. Yep. I'm gonna drop. Uh, no. oh, I, I thought I needed an ancient. Yeah, okay. I need to go. See how this one DPS compares. I need to go grab another. Huge Rachel's. Make sure there's something about these. Uh, we might just... Let's just... Well, it's daytime, that's annoying. Did you sell them, perchance? They're technically a boss drop. You do sell them. Okay, well that helps. Actually, I think I need... 
some ectoplasm as well. Thank you. Okay. Might be shifting a little bit away from tank here other than my damage. See, I just need Hellstone now. I don't know if we have enough Hellstone, but. Yeah, we probably do. I might keep the Reaver armor on me though, because I don't feel like it's falling off in any way. Like it's still really good as a tank armor. But for now I will switch to hydrothermic armor. Yeah, so you should look into what you can craft with scoria bars and also look into what you can craft with life alloys. There is a sigil, or not sigil, there's this void of extinction that combines the Molten Skull Rose, which we can get, the so Void of Calamity. Bars and yeah. And Calamity. Interesting. Don't know why, but it does. Armor. Yeah, this Void of Extinction seems pretty good. The armors don't seem particularly interesting. Life alloy. Um, I can see what your armor set does. Set bonus gives additional 5% range damage and causes ranged weapons to fire a chaos flare every 0.3 seconds and inflicts brimstone flames and on fire. Chaos flares do 25% of the damage to the attack to spawn them and are soft capped at 50 damage. The wiki says for you that Plague, Re Plague Reaper armor is your best armor right now. I saw that too. Um... It's good if you pair it with the alchemical flask. Interesting. Otherwise, I imagine... I think... Uh, yeah, otherwise, I think the, the Shroomite armor is still fine, with, fine for me. You probably could use this armor, because I think generally all the Calamity armor sets are better than the vanilla ones. Yeah, probably. Like for me, normally I'd switch to beetle armor here, but this is like the damage armor. So I'll try it out, and if I don't like it, then I might swap back to Reaver and just keep using Reaver. For a while, anyway. Is, we'll see. Um, yeah, I only need this armor to kill Moon Lord. Then I get the, the Moon Lord armor, and that will... The, the vortex armor yeah i'm unsure if i'm going to end up using that or not i don't know the wiki says to just use that armor for every single post moon lord class so there may not be another option that may just be kept as the next option What's the next option? After Moon Lord, it does have every class use Moon Lord armor. Forever? Uh, not forever. I assume I didn't look. I would highly doubt it's forever. There's multiple orbs that you can get in hard mode. I'm gonna reorganize this chest and start putting a few things in valuables that weren't before. Um, 
essence of chaos. Do you have the other essences on you? I'm putting some things in this chest of the valuable materials to make it a little bit easier to get. Okay. I'll throw 105 scoria bars in there. Looks like most of the ranged weapons with life alloy are guns. There's the cosmic rainbow. So that's a magic weapon. Cosmic anvil? What's the cosmic anvil? Uh, suffering post moon lord. Yeah. Let's see. There's So now we just need a mithril, or not mithril. So now we just need those teal mushrooms. Not sure which one of these weapons I want to not use. Whether maybe I put away vampire knives with this. Hydrothermic armor, is that the the armor that you're talking about? Yeah, that's the armor I'm using now. Recommends the even tide or tsunami for me. Can I get an even tide? You want to try and do Empress again? Uh, we could, yeah. I need to kill Golem more as well. You want to go back to the thing then? I guess I can. Yeah, I guess we can. Me when I get there. Okay. Do you have the cells as well? Uh, nope. I can grab them though. Okay. I need to reforge these. But I don't know if I have any money. You can craft them with Lizard bricks and cores of sunlight. Yeah, it's kind of annoying, but you can. It's a little, little steep for what it is. I think most of the boss summoning items are free. Um, what boss do I want to kill? I guess I'll just kill. I'm gonna slam real fast. Yeah, I need to reforge my new weapons. The thing is, they recommend the Continental Grape, though. Wait, what, what does the plus mean? Not sure. What items that debuff the enemy or benefit the player in some way? Oh, oh, oh. You're not supposed to use it as your main DPS, you just yeah. use it ever so often. Why is it a support spell? Oh, okay. So it shoots Curse, E4, or Hellfire arrows on its own. It inflicts E4. Yeah. Or Curse Inferno. So 
UFO actually is good for me. I will indeed grab it. Goodness, it does a lot of damage to him. Because Ecor will greatly increase the damage of the weapon that I'm currently using. I should probably try and get the even tighter so it's not making it. Yeah. Tsunami is one of the most fun bows in the game. Even tight is one of the most pretty bows in the game. Yep. Tsunami could probably last you through Moon Lord. Are you there yet? Exploding Plague Stinger, huh? What is that? Um, where is that on the list? Yeah, that's the boss after Golem. Although there's still some bosses before Golem we need to get. That would be strange. Then I don't think I can get the golem. Bro, this thing does like four thousand FPS. Excuse me. That thing does like four thousand FPS. Yeah, this armor set makes a pretty big difference. In terms of my damage. This 
sure is irritating. Okay. Oh. Let's go over there now. Oh. oh, this armor is also a kind of just slaughters everything that collides with me. Armor set. Get to be tanks. Isn't like that. I think I dug the shaft at some point. I don't remember what my thought process was. Strange. Drop. Yeah, you probably don't have things to go through walls. Um, it drops plague cells, which can be used to craft the plague reaper armor, and also a bunch of furniture. And it's also used to craft the amalgam, which is that upgraded version of the amalgamated brain. But that takes Cosmo Light Bar, so we won't be getting that. A chemical flask. Anything else interesting that can be used for? Uh, there's a melee staff that's this called the Soul Harvester. Upgraded Death Sickle. That inflicts the plague. I assume. And these explode when on low health. There's a incredibly good ranged weapon, but it's locked behind Shadow Strike Bars. Um. That's about it. The abomination summons the clay winger Goliath and uses the jungle. Okay, so farming it would be super easy to do. We can go to the side now. so small. 
Is it just me or does she look really small? gonna stop hitting her and just wait for you to come back <laughs> and not send her to the next phase oh never mind my uh fire bus did it for me there's a lot of fire happening i shredded her tentacles though <laughs> I'm pretty much exclusive. I'm not looking at her, I'm just looking at projectiles. <laughs> and she's dead. Okay. Well, that's a very full. Oh, ju nice jungle key. Yeah. I suppose that makes sense. Yeah, now I'm a little full of absolute junk. Uh, let's just throw most of this stuff out, honestly. What's hitting me? Not a what? Oh, I got a, I got the Plantera trophy. Nice. Gonna not open that bag. And I'm gonna throw out the rest of this stuff. Okay. All good. Oh gosh, I hate looking through my armor so much. Every time I look to see where you are, it's like, never know. Alrighty. Uh, fight the golem? Yep. Bottom text. You can't actually hit me with this stuff just because they gave us just the funny property of being able to be knocked back. That just kind of goes nowhere. This is definitely a smart weapon to use here. Definitely makes perfect sense in the situation. It, it actually, funnily enough, is probably my highest DPS weapon. It's called a true melee moment. I don't have many of those, but... Nice possessed hatchet. 
Literally, it's like base Terraria gives you this weapon. Calamity gives you this weapon. Yeah, some of the base Terraria weapons are just. Gold straps are really bad. <laughs> Stinger moment. Um. Guess we have to fight him again, huh? It's a funny 10% drop, so. I guess you'll see it if you get it. It's a melee weapon. Uh, it's like purple. It kind of looks like a shield and a sword combined. had like two hearts this whole time. That's less than one heart. Oh, that's death. Jumped right in my path. Very cool. Nice power cell.
Yeah, that's this certified. That was a certified, uh, my adrenaline meter filled up and it just melted. <laughs> flying through me that time like every single time you moved it was just on top of me uh there's one right here Uh, not on me, no. Really need the traveling merchant to sell me a katana. I know he has it at some point, but I didn't buy it. Really hate having to wait for her, the traveling merchant to sell something.
not doing lightning, we're doing this instead. Hot needle moment. Uh, I think they're from the Everstream. Down there with my uh, sword is probably very good for things like this. But... Okay. Yeah, this thing's kind of the uh, you don't get touched sword. Wow, this just melts things. Have to sit there and kind of take it. It's not the strap, but I'm doing it anyway. A lot of his projectiles don't hurt me, which is nice. Uh, uh, I don't remember these falling presses being a thing. Is that a mimic? That's a mimic. Hello, friend. Seems our villagers are taking exception to the event. Ice queen moment. Interesting that this doesn't fill up your adrenaline meter. Uh, that's... you're not welcome here. Random cloud out, elemental out of nowhere. Oh, goodness gracious. Got a North Pole. Wow, this sort of absolutely melts things. Holy cow. Also has a tendency to melt myself. But... What? He was dead. That's so sad. He was literally dead. Okay, I'm going to need you to not be all the way up there. What'd you say? A uh, couple hearts, maybe? <laughs> 128 would be like, fit to my health. Oh, 
but I assume my defense is probably, oops, I accidentally paused the game. My defense is like 120. Oh, it's on the on a sand one. Go. Okay. Why are these cloud and ele elementals being what they are? Stop that. Stop rushing me. Wait, Tip. Please die. Please die. Why? Oh my goodness. He died as I died. That is stupid. No, I'm stuck in this house. A bad time in this house. when you get stuck inside of it. Uh, must be an attack. This could be kind of funny if there was one. This 6750 is fucking insane. Um, you know it's even more insane than that? Ringing down Hellfire on Christmas trees in Santa Claus. Oh, are you playing Terraria? Yeah. Funny how much we're crushing this compared to the Pumpkin Moon. I mean, we probably crush Pumpkin Moon now, but... We're on wave 16, goodness. Uh, that's not... Oh, he does that attack. I didn't realize that. Uh, spawn... Yeah, I didn't realize that was a Santa NK1 attack. I thought it was, like, just something that happened. The game literally spawned me inside that ice queen. You know, I think we'd be, um, enjoying our gameplay more if we were playing on medium floor. Medium core events are some of the most fun I've ever had in Terraria. Our first ever pumpkin moon? Great. Went really well. Oh, what the... Oh, it said I died to a frost wave. I did not die to a frost wave. I died to a very rudely placed, uh... Very rudely placed wyvern. Yeah. It's kind of hard to tell which one's oh, why are you still here? Did I get anything fun and interesting from that? We got a Santa NK1 trophy, which just looks like a Skeletron trophy. Okay, let's put these down. Everscream, Santa NK1, Ice Queen. I got a Christmas hook which has pretty insane stats, actually. Well, not too insane. Still pretty good. Oh, you got the Everscream wings? Those are pretty rare. Oh, Elf Melter. Uh, not particularly. Wait, the North Pole's a melee weapon? I forgot about that. It's another weapon I've never used because at this point in the game you literally... Like, as soon as you beat Plantera, 
as melee in base game, you quite simply never use another weapon. I got some Martian conduit plating from that, and I don't know how. Oh, I got the sand tank mount. Uh, no. Now our list is slightly more checked off that we did all that. We're just missing... What are we missing at this point? We're missing Krabulon, we're missing all of Old One's army, and we're missing... We need to kill both of those soon. Oh, it didn't give it to me either, actually. Okay, let's completely skip the old one's army if you are. Um, we might do it, but not on any timer, just whenever. Maybe when we're just strong enough to just destroy it. I don't know what the Brimstone Elemental is. The spot in the Brimstone Crag biome, what even is that? Down on the left side of the Underworld. It's summoned with the Charred Idol, which... takes... things. It takes Charred Ore. Generates in the boom I'm sure that will go terribly, but we could. Uh, <laughs> it may or may not be alive. Okay, this guy's alive. He sells them. This is fish guy. Uh, yeah, I think so. Alright, here you go. And this guy was it, the cold one? The uh, mermaid. Merman dude. Might be swapping over to GTA soon anyway, but we can give him a one try if you want before then. See what we are. I'll bring a set of candles and stuff with me. Uh, you gotta teleport over there. Love how it teleports you all the way over there. I think it teleports you to the closest piece of coral or something. That's what it's supposed to do. Oh, that's... Well, we could summon a different boss right about now. Um. Did you work on that one? It's probably easier. Probably it's easier. Give me a second to put these down. Put Adam down. Put Adam down. Oh. Uh, let's see. Oops. Oh, right. Sand blocks are. Sand blocks fall. Yep. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to leave. I meant to unmute. <laughs> you meant to unmute instead of hanging up. Mm -hmm. Alright. Well, it was over here, and then it disappeared. Cool. We'll probably get on GTA in a second. We're messing around with another boss. Oh, past. don't worry about it. I'm playing CSGO for a little bit, so yeah. you guys can do whatever. Okay. I guess so.
got a little uh, strange pattern here. I wonder if he's changed at all. Uh, yeah. That was maybe not necessary. Yeah, the proper arena for this fight would be very nice, actually. That's a large tornado. My dude, my guy. Oh, you can't go through it. Even with the shield. That's weird. I've been torn around. Yeah, we're gonna need an arena for that. We got a really good ace spawn. Um, where's the guy? There's the guy. We could try to fight Leviathan. Back. Yeah. You can go over there and see if it is, and I can teleport to you. I don't think we're beating it without platforms. Oh, let's... I need to breathe. No, no, I'm gonna freaking drown. What the heck was that? Urchin. Okay. Mantis shrimp. Where is this? Let's get out of here, sea urchin. Where is this mantis shrimp? Oh, it's gone. It's just a critter, so it dies in one hit, but if it hits you at first... What was that one? There's one. Right there. Go say hi to Where? Me. It's right below me. You can... Need to breathe. Okay. Come here, buddy. Hit me. Oh, oh he died. Nope. But it very it nice got me down, down to 90 hearts. Uh, building a wall. Who's gonna pay for it? Uh, the, I mean, Duke Fisherman's probably gonna pay for it. <laughs> Come on. Uh, just to build the platforms off of. I'll probably tear it down after that. Oh, I missed the fucking stair smoke. Oh, that's shit timing. Got a 
Like, uh, I really should get better wings, but, uh... Cat, cat, coming to you, purple. Oops. Are there any... What was I looking at using? All right. It'll buy the stain pipe wings. We even have a steampunker at the moment. We do actually. Oh, uh, the, the Leviathan is here again. Okay. I mean, we might as well just. Um. <laughs> might as well, I guess. I like how our moveset is literally just Duke Fishman, but less intense. Your grappling hook straight up, and I did not grappling hook straight up. I grappling hook right into everything. What are these? These are violent. Why does it cost 75 gold to reforge these? What the? Oh, this is stupid. Literally takes a whole platinum to reforge those.
I didn't even get anything good. Okay, well, I can fly almost all the way into space now, so that's nice, I guess. Alright. I'm going to go back to the ocean. now Dog tooth. Interesting. We can give Duke Professor another time, and if it's still too hard, we can just go for Empress. Like, uh, like okay, we can do that then. Yeah. cardinal directions in front of you and it's as such impossible to avoid if you're running on the arena.
Look, I just don't have enough movement. Not seeing enough movement. You want to try fishy boy? I might as well try Empress now. Two fifty eight. That is. That's true. I guess we'll have to do fishing then. Ready? Uh, yeah. Spirit of Christmas fades though, that's unfortunate. Buddy, if you could stop spawning this in front of me, that would be really sick nasty. Why do they do as much damage as the actual boss hitting you? Yeah, I mean, we got over half of his health done, so I think, like, I may always take a death. Okay. If you can live through one of my deaths, we should be able to do it. Because I, we get over half his health in one of my lives. Oh, well. Perhaps it's time to do this instead. <laughs> Uh, you can spawn Duke Fisher. I killed it, so it won't start anything. All right. I didn't realize those could spawn this low. Freaking tornado spawns. Those bottom two are barely clipped through the bottom platform, and that one was right in my flight path.
enough. What? Okay. This fight, I think, is possibly impossible without the shield of Cthulhu dodge. It was a little early for this phase, not gonna lie. Oh, that came out of nowhere. Uh, it can't dash down. Forgot, forgot about that limitation. I can dash down there. Goodness, I hate this phase so much. This is one of the hardest phases in the whole game of any boss, I think. Yeah, it's just kind of hard for me to stay safe and hit him after he'll do damage. Yeah, when I die, just don't even bother hitting him. It's pretty much just he dashes at you and you go at him at an angle such that you can shield a Cthulhu dodge out of his way. Great starting off this fight. Exactly the same way as last fight. Big PP TV in the way, in the way. Uh, that, okay. those tornadoes do not immediately hurt you when they spawn in. Oh, that one's going to hurt me though. favorite.
I don't, really, I don't like this phase that much because most of the time you can't even hit him. Oh, sick. That spawned on top of me. Probably gonna have to solo that phase because I can't even do damage during it, really. That phase is pretty much no melee damage. The problem is, is that he hurts. <laughs> and I don't know how to dodge this. Um... It's pretty much just whenever he appears, dash in the direction that he's coming from. Or perpendicular to the direction he's coming from. Which ones? Uh, I can go like way over here, I guess. Uh, they go to right here. Okay, that's pretty far then. I thought they. I had a feeling that they were like dying like, as soon as they got off screen. What about these ones? These ones last longer? Um, those last until they hit something, it looks like, because they arc downwards. So they went, like, all the way to here and hit the ground. What even is that? Does it seek? Does it seek up this guy? Yes, we can now. Oh, let's dig these gravestones real fast. The remnants of a truly terrible frost moon. We did good, it's just that once you get a little bit around, you don't do this Yeah. Thing. You don't really survive when you're being attacked by, like, five bosses at once. <laughs> 